the Middle East is a region known for its complex and long-standing conflicts, but few are as volatile as the one between Iran and Israel. In this video, we'll explore the recent escalation of tensions between these two nations and what it means for the region and the world. Let's start with Iran. The Islamic Republic has been a theocratic state since its founding in 1979, and its leaders have long been hostile to Israel. They view the Jewish state as a colonial implant and have vowed to wipe it off the map. Israel, for its part, sees Iran as an existential threat. The Jewish state has nuclear weapons, and Iran has been working on its own nuclear program for decades. Israel has also accused Iran of supporting terrorist groups that have targeted Israel, such as Hezbollah and Hamas. In recent years, the conflict has been fueled by the issue of nuclear weapons. Israel has long maintained that Iran is trying to build a bomb, and has even carried out airstrikes against Iranian nuclear facilities. Iran, for its part, denies that it is trying to build a bomb, and says that its nuclear program is for peaceful purposes only. But the situation took a turn for the worse in 2023, when the Iranian Supreme Leader, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, issued a new fatwa, or religious decree, calling for the destruction of Israel. Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett responded by saying that Israel would not sit idly by while Iran threatened its existence. He vowed to take action if necessary to protect his country. In the following months, there were several incidents that heightened tensions between the two countries. In one case, Iran launched a missile strike against an Israeli military base in the Golan Heights, in retaliation for an Israeli airstrike on a Syrian military base that was believed to be hosting Iranian forces. Israel responded by launching a series of airstrikes against Iranian targets in Syria, including military bases, weapons depots, and missile factories. The conflict also spilled over into the Mediterranean, where Israeli naval forces intercepted an Iranian ship carrying weapons to the Gaza Strip. The ship was destroyed, and its crew was taken into custody. The tensions between the two countries also played out on the streets, with protests and counter-protests in both Iran and Israel. In Iran, there were calls for the destruction of Israel, while in Israel there were calls for the government to take decisive action against Iran. 